Today, I will be showing you how we made Accra banana at home in Boya, Cameroon from scratch. This is actually my big sister's recipe that she will be sharing with you. So stay with us and let's go through the simple steps together. The quantity we made was just enough for five people. So we used eight ripe bananas, a generous pinch of salt to balance the taste. You know that mild sweet savory contrast right and then we also used about 500 grams to one kilogram of grated cassava with some of the starch already squeezed out since we didn't weigh it on a scale it's difficult to tell the exact measurement but this will um but this was a full mini plastic bag you know the kind you get from the market when you um, buy fresh tomatoes green spices and other small things and also a teaspoon of baking powder was added for fluffiness as you can see i'm mashing the bananas gradually not just pounding everything together because i don't want to have huge chunks of bananas in the dough so since i'm using a fork Mashing small portions at a time will give me the kind of paste I want. So you feel free to use a blender if that's what you prefer. Now Big Sis is going to add a pinch of salt. Okay, a generous pinch of salt. <laughs> to those of you who do not know what Acro banana is, it is a popular Cameroonian street food which is especially common in the north and southwest regions of the country. Sometimes it is served at party buffets as part of the main meal or even added in some takeaway packs. Now this is just to demonstrate how difficult it is to mix if that ground cassava is added into the mashed banana paste. But if you do it the other way around by adding the mashed banana to the cassava in small bits, in small batches, then it makes your life way easier. It is even better to use the hands because you can get a better feel of the paste and it will be easier to squash any lumps that you may come across. So now it's teamwork. <laughs> like I mentioned earlier, it's a very simple process so you don't need to travel all the way to Cameroon just to enjoy a crab banana. So you can do this within the comfort of your own home. But... <laughs> this does not rule out the fact that Accra banana tastes way better in Cameroon because, because, because home is home. Home sweet home. You know that feeling you get when you're eating something that is prepared in that environment where you grew up? I mean, you get as you did, you do your body. <laughs> yes, yeah, so the best place to enjoy it still is home in Cameroon because that's where you get authentic Accra banana. Yeah. Yeah. Adding mayo, which is also good for frying. You hear something in, at the background? Rain! <laughs> we are thankful for the rainfall because it's really hot. Yesterday was horrible. It rained on Friday and the weather was amazing after the rain. It was very cool, fresh air. And yesterday, hey, the heat was real. So today, I think we are all going to have a good night's rest. And you see, so Big C is on board. So show me. Oh, just look at this goodness. It tastes excellent with pepper sauce, corn, pap, and beans, or you can simply enjoy it however you want. In my case, I had it with sautéed chicken and vegetables, as shown in the intro of this video. I'm going to link that tutorial in the description box and at the end of this uh, video too. Do not forget to give it a click. Kindly help me grow my channel by giving this video a thumb up, subscribe, and turn on the post notification bell. Your encouraging comments and upbuilding critiques are always welcome. And last but not least, please share this video and others from my channel on your social media platform so that I can reach out to more audience. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next one. Bye-bye.